Good morning, guys. All right, well, I just got up a little bit ago, as you can tell by my face. And I made my oatmeal. I'm pretty excited to rehearse. I'm going to eat that. And I'm catching up on Cassidy and Jensen. I love them. I love watching their vlogs. So I'm catching up on that. And I don't really know what I'm doing today. It's going to be one of those days where I don't really have a lot planned. But I'll probably run out and do something, I would imagine. I don't know. But yesterday, I spent the entire day cleaning the house. Like cleaning cleaning this house and I love it because everything's clean like it's just all clean and wonderful and I love that feeling I'm missing pillows on the couch because I washed them yesterday some of them one exploded I'll show you guys <laughs> it was it got really exciting in this house yesterday but no so I was cleaning all day and so I really don't want to clean anymore today because I'm kind of tired of cleaning a little sore because at this point it's kind of like a workout you know yeah, it's a lot. But I don't know what we're doing today, but I will take you guys along and hopefully we can find something fun to do. I'm kind of sad right now because I just called James to see if he wanted me to bring him and all the guys either donuts or like lunch or whatever. And they're literally about to walk out right now to get food because, I mean, they're at work at 6 a.m. So at 11, they're ready to eat. And I tried to get ready quicker, but I didn't catch them. So I just... I'm sad because I need things to fill up my day because I'm starting to get antsy and all I'm doing is cleaning like compulsively because it's something to do and not only that like I'm nesting and I just want everything really clean but I cleaned this whole house yesterday and so I don't need to be cleaning anymore today and if I go out and like run errands I'm just gonna be spending money which I don't really need to be doing either so I was excited because post is like 30 minutes from our house-ish. And so that, you know, that takes up some time. Like going, getting food, dropping it off, hanging out for a little bit, and then coming home. And plus I can run errands on post and like go to the commissary and the PX and whatever. But um, there's no point to really drive all the way out there if I'm not like bringing him lunch or anything. So I'm going to go run to the post office because I need to check my P.O. box anyway. Just run to a couple stores. <laughs> see what I can get myself into because I need to get out of the house. Guys, I just checked my P.O. box and I got a package from Vanessa. She said she was sending it and I'm so excited to open it. And I want to open it in here, but I just tried to set my camera up so you could see what it was. And it's really, really dark because it's really cloudy and gloomy out today. So I guess I am going to do my best and wait till I get home to open this package, which sucks because I have a bunch of errands that I'm going to be running. Not that I have to, but I'm going to. And so I can't open it for like at least an hour or so. And that's going to kill me. Also, Vanessa, you have the prettiest handwriting I've ever seen in my life just by how you addressed it. So, um, I love it. I can't wait to open it, but I'll show you guys when I get home what it is. I just went into Target and I left with zero baby things. That's kind of really impressive for me. All I got was like some toilet wand cleaner things and thank you cards for the baby shower. So I guess it's kind of baby related, but not really. So I'm really proud of myself. Now I'm gonna go to Fresh Market. Not that I need anything there, but I love Fresh Market. And yeah, I'm basically just gonna go look at all the delicious food that I'm gonna wanna eat because I'm starving. You know what? I might go get some Chipotle. That sounds really good today. So I'll probably walk around Fresh Market for a minute, hit up Chipotle, get some lunch, maybe go to Sam's Club because I need some coconut oil. Yeah, so I think that's the plan. Ugh. It is cold and nasty and rainy outside. They're getting snow like an hour north of us, but we're not getting snow. We're getting nasty, really cold rain, and I apparently am not dressed for that. I thought it was going to be a little bit warmer today, but oops. But I got my Chipotle! I'm so excited! I usually get a, um, a bowl, but this time I got a burrito because I felt like just getting a little crazy, you know? So I'm going to sit in the car and eat it because I don't want to be a loser and sit in there by myself. So I'm going to eat it in my car, which makes me pretty much equally as big of a loser, but that's okay! <laughs> And then I'm going to run next door to Sam's Club and then have a couple more places to go to. But now I don't even want to because it's cold and wet and gross. Maybe I'll save Sam's Club for another day because I went to 
park like way back in the back of the parking lot and then walk in the rain and that doesn't sound fun right now at all. That sounds awful. I used to eat the crap out of these in college. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> That's all I came here for. I'm making some brownies when I get home and I'm too lazy to make them from scratch today. So we're uh, doing a box and I'm still excited about it. I understand why I'm so freezing now. So when I left the house this morning, I think the thermometer said it was right under 50 degrees. And now it's 37, 37 degrees. If it could drop, you know, like four or five more degrees, maybe we could actually get some snow, but I doubt that's gonna happen. It's just gonna be wet and gross. But, oh, it's so cold. And um, yeah, I had this unzipped earlier because I didn't think I needed it zipped, but I was so freezing, I tried to zip it up, and I'm like, I don't even know if this is gonna fit. And luckily it does, but just barely. But it did zip up, so I'm really happy about that. Hey, okay, so now I am back to open the package. So excited. Sorry, I already started opening it, but I haven't looked inside yet. So let's see what is in here. <gasps> oh my gosh, Honest Company diapers newborns which is great because I don't have very many newborns because I didn't want to buy too many because I didn't know if he was gonna be in them for long so super excited oh my gosh seventh generation newborns I have not I don't know anybody who's tried these so I'm excited to try them just what target size newborns oh my gosh now I can try them all this is like the best day ever parents choice Newborns, oh, now I really can try them all. Like this is really exciting. Seventh generation size one. Huggies, Huggies pure and natural size one. Pamper Swaddler size one. Huggies little snuggler size two. We have some, oh, it's a wrap, I don't know. I'll just open that in a second. Pamper sensitive wipes, can never have too many wipes. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thank you so, so much for the diapers because we will be going through them. Tell you what. All right, now I'm gonna open this one. Alpha wants to join too, if you can see his tail wagging in the background. He's really happy about it too. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is so stinking cute. A little Batman onesie. Oh man. Vanessa, thank you so much for all of these diapers and the wipes and the onesie. This was so incredibly sweet of you and I can't wait to try all the different ones to see how they fit him and how well they do on him. So you actually just made my life like a million times easier because now I don't have to go out and buy a big pack of all of these. I can try the little ones. So thank you so, so, so much. You just made my day. One of the only downsides to being pregnant not being able to lick that. Really, that would be in my face so fast, I don't even know. But obviously, can't do the raw egg thing, so it just makes me sad because I have to wash it out and that's such a waste of brownie batter, in my opinion. But that's okay, I get some delicious brownies out of it, so ultimately, worth it. I did something bad. I just went upstairs to get the rest of the thank you cards that I have so I can um, finish up the rest of my thank yous. And I completely lost the list of gifts from my shower down here. Have no idea where it is. So I don't remember what people got me. I mean, I remember like the general idea, but that's gonna make writing thank yous interesting. Thank you for your beautiful gift. I loved it, which I really did. I loved everything, but dang it. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I've looked everywhere where I would have had it, so I'm just gonna have to try to go through my memory, and I have pictures, some pictures from the shower, so hopefully I can figure it out. <laughs> All right, guys, so I was just texting my stepsister. I have two, and one I'm really close with, one I am not. She's always kind of scared me a little bit. She don't tell anybody. Anyway, um... So the one that I'm not that close with, I was texting her to get her address to send a thank you for the baby shower. And she asked when he was coming, like what the C-section date was. And so I told her and she basically said, I hope he comes early because that's her soon to be ex-husband's birthday and she doesn't want to remember him. And so she doesn't want Jonathan to be born on that day because that's his birthday. And honestly, I just started dying because I'm like, they 
he doesn't care what day your soon-to-be ex-husband is born on. Like, I don't even care. I've met the guy, like, twice. It's her third husband. Like, you know, nobody, nobody cares. That's... If I can't have him on any of the days of her ex-husband's birthdays, that's, like, three days out of the year. That's, that's a lot, so... Too much work, but I'm just over here just... It's ridiculous, guys. Ridiculous. So I am getting started on some dinner because James is on his way home and it's going to take... I mean, he, it's only like... It's a little bit before five. But it's going to take a while because I'm making meatloaf, which some people are like, ew, meatloaf. This meatloaf is delicious. And it's actually healthier. It's not healthy, but better because I put like shredded carrots in it, I use oatmeal instead of um, cracker crumbs or breadcrumbs, and sometimes I'll put other vegetables in too depending on what's going on, but, uh, and I put like onion and stuff in it, but anyway, um, then we're having, James having a regular baked potato, <laughs> look a potato, oh my gosh, and then I'm having a sweet potato, so I'm going to throw those in because those take forever. And yeah, but it seemed perfect for tonight because the weather is so gross and just cold and rainy. I wanted something warm and, you know, it makes you feel good when you eat it. So I'm going to be working on that and then I'm going to hang out with James tonight. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys. So tonight James and I just hung out. We had some dinner. We watched Tremors and now we're going to bed because we're tired. So... I just want to get on here and say good night, and I will see you guys Friday in my bump day. Night, guys.